Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. Ooh la la, we have a French car. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so bad. Uh, some of you might recognise this car. This is none other than... Giselle from Hubnut. Giselle from Hubnut. Popped in for... Uh... Yeah, they don't live far from us. No, they don't. So, while they're away on holiday, we said we'd have a look at a um, little... Scratch, scratch on the on the rear quarter. Yes, yeah, yeah. so I was trying to think of the word scratch. Then scratch. Scratch. Um, whilst it's here, I think we uh, we we better have a look around Giselle. I've never really been this close to one of these Citroens, and I think it's the first Citroen I've ever driven. And I've never I've never seen a GSA in the wild. So there we go. So this we'll is have a look around. Interesting for everyone here. Mm, we'll see what um, see what quirks and features it has. Yeah. <laughs> If you're a Hubnut fan and you're just joining us for the first time, please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you are not familiar with Hubnut, head over there. Link will be up here. Go and give them a check out. Really entertaining stuff. You'll love it. Trust me. Yeah, he's a good man. Now let's have a look at this French car. Ooh la la. <laughs> Stop that. So Leanne, tell us about this Citroen GSA. It's a really nice car. You know, it's an 80s oh, hatchback. Four hatchback, door, hatchback. Four door. I don't know. I don't know. It is fastback, hatchback. Fastback, hatchback. It's really nice looking face on it. It reminds me a lot of the DS, and I do love a DS. It's also got that same height adjustable suspension. Up and downy suspension. Up and downy suspension. The air suspension, which yeah. apparently is linked to the brakes. I think it's all the same systems, isn't it? Yeah. Hy hy hydro. I think Ian said oh. something about 2,000 psi in the brakes, which is um, it stops. I do know that these have got really good suspension travel, haven't they? They can go over bumps, you don't feel it. That, uh, as far know. as I know. I don't know, I've never driven one. But it's got a really cool front face. It has face. got a very nice face, hasn't it? I mean, it's, it's got a weird look splitter. Look at its French face. French face. Mm, I bet it likes eating croissants. <laughs> but massive headlights, nearly as big as the Volvo. Nearly. Nearly, not quite, nearly. Not quite. Nearly, but... It's been sat for a few days, so it's sunk, so it looks really low, doesn't it? It is definitely slammed. Slammed. Although I don't think Ian's the kind of guy who has slammed in his repertoire of <laughs> words, even. I, do you reckon you could, I don't know if you could drive it that low. Has it got a setting that low? I don't know. Me neither. I don't know. I do know it's got some cool door handles. Check these oh, little yeah, door look handles. At this. Look. When, cool. when did you see a door handle that opened like that last? Uh, on this car. <laughs> on this car. Never. Um, it's got the cool DS style hidden top of the wheel arch thing. What do you call that? Tucked. Tucked wheels, yeah. But no, it's got a really nice blunt back end as well. Look at that. It's like it's been chopped off. Flat flush light. Flush back. A lot of, lot of flat going on there. And the same recess bumper thing as the front. It is cool. Cool it car. is a very cool little car. I, I actually really like it. Yeah, I do like it. It is a cool car. And you don't see them. I, I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild. Really don't. Apart from this one. Apart from this one. Now, what is extra cool about it is the interior. Do Let's go inside interior? and have a look. Let's go have a look inside. This is such a cool interior. It is cool. It's, it's like 80s space age. I mean, look at this wheel. It has got one spoke and you can see everything on the dash. You have to see it because it's got the coolest speedo clock, magnified, bloody what you call it numbers. I'm coming round. You come round. Here we go. Here's the funky steering wheel. I mean, look at that one centre spoke. I mean, that's quite a Citroen thing, isn't it? One centre spoke, but super cool. Easy viewing of the dials and what cool dials they are. Here we go. Look, magnified numbers for your viewing pleasure. And let me just stop the glare. Look at that systems monitoring. It looks a bit Tron. It does look very Tron. Very cool. Very cool. Old circuit boards. Yeah, so funky. We've got these big round dials and um, switches for the indicators and the lights. Oh, look at the colour of the high beam. Lovely colour blue. It is really cool. Really cool. Push buttons. Nice clunk that's for the. Thing that's it. That's a good one. Good one. Look at this handbrake. Isn't that awesome? What do you call that? Like a um, pull handle handbrake. I don't know. But come and have a look at this. The air selector. Okay, you've got a choice of cowboy hat or cowboy boot. 
<laughs> and fast speed and temperature. But cowboy hat and cowboy boot, brilliant. I mean, um, I'm assuming car stereo should be in there. Um, that's the height adjustment lever. But no, it is really awesome in here. Proper 80s cool. Okay, that's enough. Looking at interior, what a nice door slam. That's quite quality actually. Yeah, isn't it? it does sound quite quality. We're going to have a quick look around the bodywork now. See what we're dealing with. Yeah, and maybe even check that colour. Colour match, yes, good idea. Yeah. Let's go to the area of interest. This way. Following you. Don't look at that dog. No, you'd be a good girl in there. We have some fairly deep scratches here. Look at those beauties. He said it was a fence post. Now, there are other things I, I would like to address on the car, but I don't know if we're going to have enough time in this session of um, of paintwork, judging by how much work I've got left on the sunbeam to do, and there is a deadline on that. So I'm going to have to cut this down to just doing these scratches for the session, and then we'll have a chat with Ian, maybe we'll book it in again in the future, maybe, maybe over the winter. Winter jobs, yeah. yeah. I mean, um, if we had if we had unlimited time, we'd do the lot, but we just can't. Just of here, there's a there's a nice little blister. Can you see that? Just starting to poke through. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And then on the other door. Which door is it? Just of here. Look at this. Oh, wow, there we are. Yeah, just starting well, to poke that, through. That's there. probably going to need a patch welding in. So that turns a little job into a rather big job. We're not going to rush this one. No. Um, so we'll, we'll do the scratches and then we'll we'll bring him back for another session. It's not the way I normally do things, but do you know given I'd love that to I'm do? so tight for time with mm. the with the toll but. But do you know what I'd love to do? Get my hands on these wheels. Yeah, I'd love to have a crack at them wheels. Yeah. They, they really let the car down. I think the, the previous owner to um, Hubnut he brush painted them with the same paint he used to paint the door cards. The door cards. I mean, um, fair play, he did what he could. But I know, I know, Hub Nuts are not about making cars bloody perfect and everything, but oh, there's so much potential I under that. I think you'd appreciate it. I think you would. I think so. But to be honest, the car is in bloody good condition. It is, it really is. It really is, bodywork wise. I mean,. We might, if we have time, we might have a go fettling this bonnet hinge for yeah. for Ian and Carly. We'll I don't make, know what that's doing up there. No, we'll have a little look at that. We might have time to squeeze that in. I mean, no, that's not that's not good. We need to sort that out. But other than that, I think we better get a look at this paint colour. See if we can find a proper match. Right, first things first, we've got to find it. We've got to go to the quarter that we're going to do. Mm-hmm. And we are going to polish up a bit so we can get a good match. So I'm just going to use a little tiny 3 inch buffer with some raw 620 extreme fine compound and a little waffle mop head. And then we're going to buff this area here and see, let's just wipe it over first. See what's what. We're not matching against the um, dirt are we? No. No. We're just doing this to get the top layer of scum off and get back to that fresh black paint. Yeah, any oxidisation, get that off. There we go, that's looking better. Good, good. Still some fairly deep scratches in there, but... Hello! But yeah, definitely much better. Right, so the lovely people at IPS have sent us some colour chips down. Plenty of them for us to check through get some nice uh, matching going on with the black mm -hmm. and most of the time black is black but this mm. car's been repainted it's not in its original color and we're not 100 percent sure on the color code yeah and so it's best to check so i'm just going to get my old torch torch out so we can see what is what so can you see the color difference there so you thought that would be the same yeah this see how easy it is to pick it up on camera it's definitely a dirtier black. Yeah. It's got a bit of ready browniness into it. Can you see it? Definitely you see, see it. You certainly see it. 
you could, it's 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 night and day. So that <laughs> is no good. It's not EXY. So I have got a list because Dom at IPS did print me out a list of colour shades. And now, do you think it could be the redder shade? No, because that's what we just threw away. That's what we just threw away, right? So we have a choice of greener shade or lighter shade. I have a feeling it's just straight black. It's just black, black. And this is just looking through all the different... There's a million shades of black. And there's a load of shades of every colour. So this is, is this a different scheme? What scheme is this? This is the... This is the Meeper system. So... We're going to take a take a little bit of time to go through all these shades of black. We're going to narrow this down to a couple of shades, yeah. and then we'll get back to you. See what you guys see. What you guys think? Yeah. Right, we've narrowed it down to three possibilities. So let's run through them. Let's have a look at what Obviously, we've, got. we've been through this one already. The um, this one. This is what Ian thought it was. Yeah. Uh, it's too red. There's too much dirty horribleness inside of that. So we're going to discard that straight away. And we've got one from each pack which look very similar. Um, this one, would you like to bring in a torch, is a bit milky and a bit red still. And the idiot has left out. <laughs> back into Did the you pack. just no, lose it? it? That's it. 988. So, that one. That is Paint the closest, better. not bad at all. This is the closest we've got with the paint schemes that we have access to. And considering how scratchy these cards are, um, it's not exactly an exact science. So we're going to order a sample of paint and do a proper spray out card ourselves, check that colour onto the car, and then we'll order the correct amount for painting this quarter and that door. Perfect. Brilliant. Right, let's um, Don't lose them. phone up yeah. IPS and... Put the order in. Put that order in. Yeah, cheers Dom. That's, yeah, two and a half litres of the standard shade. We'll give it a tech. We're going to do some spray out cards and um, see if it matches the car. Yeah, Hubnut's car. I know you're a huge fan. No, brilliant. Thank you very much. You'll be here tomorrow. Brilliant. Thanks, Dom. Bye. Now, that is the beauty of dealing with IPS. I can phone them up today, order whatever I like, and annoy Dom, and it'll be delivered tomorrow. Whatever you like. Whatever I like. Do they do pizza? <laughs> yeah, as long as the pizza's, um, what do you call it, 80 grit. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that'll be here tomorrow. We could do a spray out card and check the colour before we put anything on. Brilliant. That sounds like a great idea. It is. Right, that's all we have time for in this episode. Uh, join us next time when we do the spray out card and dive into these repairs. Yep, we'll get this scratch sorted out. Right, see you again next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Hold well on. <laughs>